Now, as far That's as okay. Hackett's former employee, your Den employer, your Denver Broncos, they continue to be quiet publicly as far as the hiring of their next head coach. I'm about to get Keith Morrison from Dateline on this. This really? is like the most Why biggest would you do that mystery when you have ever. An insider? Either absolutely nothing is happening or everything is happening behind closed doors, which is why maybe Mike Kliss is going to take over for Keith Morrison and tell us what exactly our insider can tell us is happening. Yes, uh, we had a story today on 9news.com that uh, it, it sure looks like the front runner candidate that the Broncos like is D'Amico Ryans, the defensive coordinator from the 49ers. Uh, we talked uh, yesterday uh, with Rod Mackey about D'Amico. He's an exciting young uh, assistant coach. In fact, today he was named the assistant coach of the year by the Pro Football Writers of America. The last two years, defensive coordinator for the 49ers, they ranked third in scoring, ninth in total yards. This year, number one and number one, they had the top defense. So he's the hottest name out there. Uh, Houston also wants him also, and his wife is from Houston. So just because uh, he's at the forefront of the mm. Broncos' wish list doesn't mean the Broncos are going to get him, but they want him. And... Uh, uh, we'll see if they can reel in D'Amico Ryans. They can't talk to him till next week, though, because his 49ers are playing the Eagles in the NFC Championship game this Sunday. Let, let's talk about what's happened just in the last few hours, Mike. Uh, the landscape has changed a bit. The Panthers hire Frank Reich, so that's no longer an option for Sean Payton. And Dan Quinn says he's staying down in Dallas. So the Broncos had interviewed him, but he now comes off the board. How much does this shifting landscape affect anything? It, you know, maybe it affects the, the price of Sean Payton to some extent? You know, I don't think Sean Payton's going to get a job anywhere. I, I mean, he's interviewing in Arizona today, and maybe there would be an upset and he gets uh, the position there. But uh, Dan Quinn, the fact that he's going back to Dallas, I think he got enough intel that he was going to finish second in a lot of jobs. And uh, so he wants to go back to Dallas and uh, maybe try again next year. We'll see. Uh, Sean Payton has just leaked out just so much information, almost to the point where you wonder if he's burned a bridge uh, with the Broncos. Some comments have come out on uh, Broncos ownership regarding uh, Sean Payton getting in the crosshairs there. So uh, I don't think Sean Payton's going to wind up here. We'll see if he winds up with uh, Arizona. But uh, I, I'm not sure he was ever the front runner for the Broncos. He was high on their list, but I don't know if he was ever number one on their list. Yeah, the guessers, everyone who's guessing about what's going on had him at the top of the list. D'Amico Ryans, just to clarify one thing, he's going to play in the NFC Championship game. His team plays uh, this weekend against the Eagles. Win or lose, he can interview with the Broncos next week and could even take the job sometime next week. Uh, c correct. Uh, not officially take the job because you can't be employed by two teams. Right. Uh, but they can uh, reach an agreement next week if they if they do get that far. That's happened before. It happened with Kyle Shanahan when he was offensive coordinator with the Atlanta Falcons and he took the 49ers job. So that has happened before. We'll see if the Broncos can lock it up next week when uh, I'm sure they'll meet D'Amico Ryans early next week, win or lose, for the 49ers. Well, as Mike has posted at 9news.com and on Mike's Twitter feed, uh, D'Amico Ryans uh, at this point considered the front runner. And Check he it started out. that yesterday. So maybe Sean Payton just got too talky on TV, and that's part of the loose lips, like talking it's to cost people. cost me. I just, <laughs> it's hurt okay. me throughout my career. Mike, we'll see you at 5 o'clock with more. In case anything happens, <laughs> thanks, Mike.